Hi there and welcome back to Aiden's Railway. So I've really enjoyed this video. It's lots of fun making a whole train, using lots of the bits and pieces I've picked up out of the bargain bins, some pre-owned items, all that sort of thing. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Enjoy yourself. Catch you later. Okay, so what I've done is the crew, the fireman and drivers that I painted the other day, I've just given them a black wash just to dull them down a little bit. They're not quite so bright now. I'll put a bit of black wash on those uh, on those buffers as well, which has dulled them down considerably. Um, while I was at it, going back to the Lomax, I've just been putting some more weathering and washers onto them. Um, you can see here, just dulling them down considerably, some more than others just to give them the impression of oil and dirt and things like that on them. Um, these aren't fixed down, you can see here, these aren't fixed down, but uh, I've just marked up where I need to drill holes. So they're gonna be somewhat permanently fixed. The Balfour gun, I am actually just gonna glue down and you can see realistic, you can just see about where I'm gonna do that as well. Don't really want these coming on and off. I need to secure them a little bit for when they're going round on the track. So that's the way I'm gonna do those ones. So I'm gonna drill some holes for them now and then uh, we'll come back and then I'll fix them on with the screws and hopefully they should be all right. Not entirely sure what's going on this one at the minute, but nothing really at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and drill those holes now and then uh, we'll come back and I'll fix them on. Well, I've just been outside and drilled these and uh, you can see there, holes straight through. And uh, unfortunately at the bottom, there's uh, a bit of metal there on each of them. So I'm gonna use a file and uh, basically just get rid of that. And then, uh, and then we'll see me fitting the actual loads on. So there we go, we've got one, two, three loads so far fixed down. Uh, like I said before, this uh, Balfour gun, that's gonna have to be glued. There's nothing I can really do about that one, but uh, I don't intend to have that coming off anyway, so that's gonna get fixed down. And uh, just while I was uh, finding drills and files and things, would you believe it, I went and found another driver. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep them in a pile. I've put all of the painted ones in there, the washer's dry. I'm gonna pick locomotives for them, but uh, I've gone and found another one. I'm sure I'll find even more as I go through some of this stuff. So the next little job I've got here are these wooden crate containers, just plastic molded ones that came with the Lomax. They've got these EJB castings on handle with care and they're, I don't know, they're sort of like a greeny grey colour. My plan is to get rid of the lettering. I know I'm painting over the top of it but if I get rid of that lettering as much as I can it, then it won't necessarily show through on the paint. Painting up sort of brown khaki colour. I've got a uh, number 26 here which is very similar to those paints I picked up the other day. Um, actually I've had this one a long time but paint it up like that. Get some dark wash on it to emphasise all of the various panels that are on it. Basically dirty it up a little bit but not too much. Then it'll look like something more appropriate for uh, pulling on Lomax and things like that with uh, my lawnmower stuff or even just wartime stuff. But there we go. There's the next job. I think I'll just time lapse this because it shouldn't take me too long to do. Basically what I am going to use is fiberglass pen just to rub off all of this. It'll also help give something for the paint to actually adhere to. And, and rub into, it's not gonna hurt it at all. It's gonna make it a lot easier for me. I'm just gonna rub them off on all the sides, paint it up with number 26, let that dry, put on some Humbrol Clear, let that dry, then use something like this, uh, this black wash, let that dry, bit of thinners, in this case the enamel thinners, cotton bud, rub off the excess, let that dry, and then see how it looks. So I'm gonna move that to one side, let that dry off while I get on with some other bits and pieces. So going back to some bargains or 
second hand buys you could say i picked up three of these wagons still in their packaging like this i think it was around about 2013 2014 there was a hatchet part works called build your own model railway or something similar to that these would appear to have been what would have appeared on the front of those magazines if you'd collected them all i know some people did i think i picked up a couple of copies originally but then realized you know things like the metal the track was just the old steel track and things like that but uh, anyway these would appear someone would appear to have collected quite a few of them and there was three of these wagons still in their original packaging and i think they're only about a pound each or something like that to purchase now this was some time ago could possibly have been well over a year ago and they've just been sat in one of these tubs so let's just take it out and we'll have a quick look and then we can find out my plans we'll get rid of that we've got a basic four-wheel wagon here they are plastic wheels the uh, top at least the top's actually painted on the inside with sort of a brown or oxide red type color plastic buffers reasonably decent mid-sized d couplings the plastic on the top which is a one two three four five plank wagon so it's five plank wagon the plastic for the five plank wagon at the top seems to be quite mm, it's reasonably okay but it just has that tone to it looks a little cheap but close up we can see it's got what would appear detail wise is chains on the corners you can see the planks there's a little tiny bit i can feel it sort of riveted or bolt detail anyway on the metal brackets that run around it there's a reasonable amount of rivet detail on the chassis and it seems to have things like your yeah, axle box covers springs and the brake detail brake arm all that sort of thing they're not too bad they've got an imitation coupling hook there so they're not too bad at all like i say i picked up three of them you can see there and i thought wait they're nothing special they're only a pound each they're a good basis so i thought to myself well yeah, i can paint these up maybe use them um as part of the uh, i could wait initially when i purchased them i thought way well, i can use them as they are paint them up maybe get some private owner transfers things like that and then as time has gone on especially after rediscovering in the tub it occurred to me well why not just paint them in long more blue and i can just put some lmr decals on or lmr transfers on they don't have to be prototypically correct but it does give a little bit of uh, playability or runnability for them they're nice simple basis wagon they're just, there's nothing special about them i'm not damaging anything really i've got a clear conscience a little screw at the bottom let's have a look and see if i can take the top off of one of these don't want to lose this screw there we go and straight off oh so we got a decent weight inside that's not too bad it seems to be secured down as well made in china i don't know where they actually got the tooling from or whether they actually made the tooling specifically for this but not bad like in the look of it sort of an off gray that chassis i can see it a little bit better now especially when you've got the uh, the black of the top of the chassis to compare with so not bad i am going to put this screw or at least try to put this screw into the base of here so we don't lose it i don't think it'd be a great shame if i did lose it i'm pretty sure i could glue it down onto the chassis but so we've got these i think we'll paint these up blue let them dry off bit of humble clear pretty sure i've got some lettering lying around from fox and we'll see if we've got some l m's and r's i'm not going to go into the uh, really go into it and start putting army numbers and things like that on but to be fair i think i might just make them very dirty even after i've done that but we'll see coming to think about it i'm just let's let's i picked something up recently out of the second hand or pre-owned bargain sort of bins spares parts and that recently from the model shop i'm just going to have a look and see if these might fit yeah so um yeah so i picked the up a little while ago from one of those tubs of pre-owned bits and pieces these are the hornby loads these are the like resin loads that you could or maybe still can buy from hornby and just say see there there we go the hornby part of the molding anyway you can see there it's got b1 at the side what's this one got b3 so looking at it i think the loads are actually different ever so slightly let's just have a look i've, I've just got the suspicion these are going to fit and they do there's a little bit of a gap around them there's a little bit of a gap around them but nothing too much well i think i've just found a load for at least two of these because i only picked two of them up yeah that's great so as i've said before when i pick up these things they didn't fit any of my other wagons i'm sure they didn't i think when i picked them up i had a try when i've picked these up it's a bit like when i pick up a lot of things it's more of a case of oh i like the look of that i think i can use that they'll come in useful or handy in the future they're not a lot of money and this is why i do it i end up with tubs full of things but this is what happens i end up having something else that i pick up and end up working with it so uh, yeah i think i'm gonna i'll take those out for the moment we'll keep them safe i think i'll take the uh, top off the other two of these and i think we'll start on weathering the chassis up a little bit and then we'll move on to painting 
up the tops I quite like the idea of this so uh, first things first I think I will weather up the chassis a little bit pronounce some of the detail I'm not a master at weathering I'm still sort of learning with that but I'm gonna try little bits and pieces I don't want to go too mad because I've seen photos lots of photos in lots of books of LMR stock so I'm just gonna make them look reasonably like that <laughs> Okay, so we've done the chassis, I've cleaned up the wheels, they don't look too bad. Next step really is the bodies. I'm not gonna primer them, I wanna try and save this inside here because this actually looks quite good, and it's not bad at all. If I can help it, I'm gonna try and not use the spray gun because quite frankly, or the airbrush, because these are five plank wagons, they're very small and there's only three of them and it's a lot of work keeping that spray clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thin down what I've got here, some Phoenix Precision l &E r Oxford Blue, it's sort of a satin color. I bought a big tin of that when I bought that and uh, I'm just gonna try, it's got, a, it's got a base color to it. I'm gonna use my fiberglass pen here just to sort of rough it up a little bit, just to give it something to adhere to. Obviously I'm gonna be putting a, a, a varnish on anyway. I don't expect these to be amazing because I'm gonna make them look a bit rough anyway. Not massively rough, but a bit rough. So I'm gonna thin down a little bit of that blue to use and I'm just gonna use some uh, really good brushes like these Humbrol flat brushes. I'm just gonna use some of these just to, uh, to paint them up. Maybe two coats, give it some Humbrol clear, let them dry move on to the transfers, humble clear again, and then move on to a bit of weathering powder and things like that. So uh, there we go. <laughs> So after searching through lots and lots of uh, Fox transfers, I've got a full set here. Um, I don't think they're particularly exact as in typeface, that sort of thing. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna rough these up a little bit. They are in the yellow, but there happens to be a full set. I actually got two sets of these particular ones and it would appear I've been using these for something else as well. Although I have got larger sets lying around, uh, some of these are, well, some may be too big, maybe about the right size, but there's also a lack of certain letters that are required. And these ones are just really, really small, um, which is a shame, but uh, I keep a hold of all these things just in case. So I think I'll use these and I'll see how they look. Um, these need a second coat now, they're sort of or virtually dry. Um, I just want them to go off a little bit more, give them a second coat, and then I'll go across the tops of the edges in the blue as well, very lightly, just to uh, tie it all in, let that dry, give it some humbrol clear, and then move on to these transfers. Now while they're drying, I've just had a look and the crate appears to have dried. So I'm gonna get a cotton bud, some thinners, and then rub that down while these ones are drying. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Um, rubbed off the excess of the wash. Doesn't look too bad. It actually joins now two further ones that I did recently. So we now have three of these crates all finished off. Don't look too bad. They certainly look a lot better than they did before. They should fit in as loads on flat wagons and things like that and Lomax uh, on this particular layout that is being built. So there we go. Nice simple job, that one. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so it might not look lit, but they are dry. There's my transfer sheet. Like I said, they're maybe not quite as big as I'd like them, but they are what I've got lying around as spare, so I'm going to try them out. Next job, put the transfers onto the wagon bodies, let them dry, give it a coat of Humbrol Clear, and then I'm going to give it a quick blast with an aerosol of a satin varnish. <laughs> All those bits and pieces I collected over time, put together with a little bit of work, have given me what I think to be a really nice train. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check back again, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.